Welcome to the channel. I'm John X Army, and I'm mad as hell. Today, I had to come down from the mountain to run a few errands in town. Uh, I went to the local Walmart with a couple buddies of mine. One of us had to get some grocery items. Another one of us had to use the bank inside of the Walmart. And we pulled in the store, and we parked. And then as we walked up, uh, we, we were stopped by a Walmart employee who said, Hey, uh, you guys can't all go in the store due to these COVID-19 rules. Um, and I said, what do you mean? Why can't we all go in the store? He said, only one person per car per household is allowed to come inside. And I said, oh, well, that's no problem because uh, we all drove here separately, which we didn't. We rode together. And the employee said, no, I just watched you guys pull up. I know you're all together. Only one of you can come in the store. So I said to him, what are you, the police, dude? And he turned around and went to go get the police. So at this point, I told my two friends, hey, why don't you guys go back to the car? Uh, let me go in. I don't want to get arrested at this moment in time. And I went in. I, I, I used the bank there. And then we had to leave and go to a completely different Walmart so that one of my friends could go in and go shopping because he wasn't allowed in that one because we rode together. Now, when we went to this completely different Walmart, uh, I took a little video footage. Um, I had my camera out. And I was actually prepared for an argument this time. Uh, but when we went in, the, the Walmart greeter was not a rude man. It was a, an elderly woman. And I, I just, I, I, I'm not disrespecting an elderly woman. You understand? She's not woke. She doesn't deserve disrespect from some young man. So uh, here's the video. I'll let you see it. I'll let you see what was said. Paul, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. What did you say? I only, can't quite hear you. I'm only sorry. one person. Read me this. Only one person per household in the store. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I guess I'll have to go in. How come they're doing that? Yeah. Keep people away from each other. It's a social distancing. But like, how does that work? They don't want two people together shopping together. Oh, all right. Multiples of two people, then yeah, we get the store filled So if, can we go in and I just stay out? Or? Thank you. They wouldn't let him in, bro. Now, I didn't have the heart to be rude to that old woman. I don't think you guys should do that either. But something I want to say if you don't know, Walmart and Homeland Security are teamed up. We're allowing Walmart to operate in this country. Do you understand that? The moment Walmart starts to do this, you guys, we should have already shown up to every Walmart around the country, 5,000 people deep. Are we going to allow... Walmart to come into this country and do business and put all the mom and pop grocery stores out of business across the whole country and then set up corral lines outside their store and say that only one person allowed in at a time. That's what it is this week, this month, next year or next month. They're going to say only one can of corn per, per car, per household, per person. Do you understand how this starts? Do you know the natural progression? If we allow them to continue to operate in this country, set up corrals outside their store, and make rules about who can enter the store and who can't, a year from now, you'll be standing in line and they'll have a pre-made package that everybody gets the same thing. One can of corn, one, one meat item, one, one dairy item. That's what this is coming to. If we don't stand up and fill up the parking lots, rip down their corrals, if we don't do something, in a couple years we'll be standing in line for one item. If they're going to operate and own a business in this country, they need to do it the way we want it or we put them out of business. Do you guys understand? Now, if that wasn't bad enough, my other buddy had to go to a Chase uh, bank to get some cash out. Of course, he had to stand outside for a few minutes. And then uh, when somebody left, he was able to move into the entryway. 
And then when somebody else left, he was finally able to go inside. And after all that waiting, Chase Bank would only give him 250 in cash. He went in there to get 1000 They said, no, sorry, we don't, we don't have it. We're only giving each customer up to 250 today. You guys, do you see what's going on? We had to drive to another Chase Bank so he could get more money out. How ridiculous is this? Are we going to allow this? These businesses, the people who own them, are living in mansions. They're on yachts. They're doing whatever they want, flying anywhere on private jets. While they treat us like dogs here in America? Dude, I'm not standing for this. I'm not standing for this. I think it's time we organize. We got, what, 230,000 uh, subscribers on here. If we put our minds to it, we could show up 20,000 deep at any location we want. And this isn't a threat. I'm talking about a nonviolent protest. Shut places down. Start hitting them in their pockets. If they treat us bad, we shut down their business. We stand in the parking lot. We stand in the street and we don't allow anybody in or out. You, buy, you guys better get fucking motivated. Do you hear me? Do you understand what this country's coming to? This year, only one person per car, per household allowed in the store. A few years from now, they'll be telling you what you can get and what you can't. One loaf of bread, one, one gallon of milk. Incredible. I'm just, I, I'm just shocked. It's a good thing I was up on that mountain because I would have already lost my temper and, and, and been arrested. We better get a plan together. Take our country back. We can do it non-violently. Do you guys understand we got numbers? All we got to do as Americans is show up and make them hear us. Tell them if you're going to continue to get rich off us and our country, you're going to do it our way. Or we're not going to allow your businesses to operate. I love you guys very much. Hit the thumbs up, please. John X Army, signing out from the belly of the beast.